What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 684, find redundant connection. Now this is a union find distribution set data problem and the input is going to be a list of edges, right? And the output is going to be one edge. Now uh, imagine a graph where there's, for example, one, two, three, four, five, right? Five nodes, and they're gonna give us edges, but one or more of them could be making this uh, graph not a tree. So what we wanna do is find the edge that we remove from this graph to make it a tree. Now, the definition of a tree is that um, we, every node must be connected to every other node through one unique path. And this is not uh, directed, so this is not a DAG. Uh, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write out the union find, uh, the find in the union, because normally when we say union, the return type for that function is going to be void. But the way the problem is solved, and this solution comes from the leak code solution tab itself, is that we want to make the return type of the union method a boolean instead of void. So it's gonna the boolean is gonna return true is if we need to make a new connection, we need to update the parents of the given x and y. And if we do, then we return true. Else, if they already are said to belong to the same connected component, then we return false. And I'm gonna actually draw out the array and update the values as we go along so it's <clears throat> clear for you to see. So first I'm gonna um, write out what the distribution set methods and everything look like, and then I'll get into the algorithm of it. So first we're gonna have, let's say class UF for union find, is gonna have an int array, and then the constructor is gonna be like this. Um, AR is new int n, and then we're gonna initialize it for int i is equal to zero, i is less than n, I plus plus a r of i is going to be i and then this is going to be just the constructor constructor and then the uh, find is going to be standard find int x i'll call this parent it's more classic uh a r parent parent if that's the case, um, the find function is going to be like this. If x is not equal to parent of x, then the parent of x is going to be set to find of that. And then we return parent of x. So that's the find method return is integer. Now this is the little twist. We're gonna have our find our union method is gonna be boolean. And union is gonna be int x and int y is gonna be like this. If find of x is is equal to find of y. What this means is that the parent of x is already the parent of y. Then we're gonna return false because we don't have to join them together. They're already part of the same connected component. If else, right, else, we're gonna say parent of find of x is going to be equal, is going to be set to find of y. And then we're going to return true because what we did is just update the uh, connected components and the parents of x, so it's going to be part of y. Now that's going to be the return true and false. So let's get into the code.
Now, I know this problem is going to say if there's more than one solution, return the left, the rightmost in the list. However, one thing we have to keep in mind is that no matter how far on the right we have an edge, which is going to make a redundant connection, we have to return the first one because we have to make sure that it's a complete tree and not any type of cycles, any type of redundant connection. So what I mean by that is if one five, if we remove it, it's going to not be a tree because there's no path from five to the other ones. We have to return one and four because if this thing is removed, then one, two, th three, four, five, they're all part of the same tree. So all we have to do for this one, I'm going to initialize. So first UF, UF is going to be new um, UF, and then it's going to be edges dot length plus one. So so technically, there's going to be uh, six spots, one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to remain untouched. This is what our uh, array, underlying array is going to look like. Now there's five edges, so we're going to have at least five spaces, right? But the reason uh, we're using incrementing by one is because this is the razor zero index and they're just giving us the nodes from one, two, three, four, five. So once we do this, what, what, what we need to do is <clears throat> for int i is equal to zero, iterate through the edges and update the connections. Once you do that, what we're going to do is if we don't need to union, right, union edges, I have zero. I'll tell you what this means in just a second. Return edges of I. And that's actually pretty much return null for code syntax, but that's pretty much all the logic of the problem. I'll tell you why we're going to do this, why we're saying if we don't need to union. Now keep in mind, we're going to, this is going to return true if we need to update the union, and it's going to return false if the, the x and y that's passed in are already belonging to the same component. So for the first edge, one and two, one and two are different. Uh, parents. So the parent of one is one, parent of two is two. And if we remember our find function, uh, our, our, our union function, it's going to update this one to say two. Now next iteration, two and three. These two are different. So this one is going to be updated to say three. Now three and four, they're different. So this one is going to be updated to say four. Now, one and four, right? These two, first we're gonna check one. One goes here, two, two goes, uh, check three, and then three goes here because these are recursive functions. And three goes to here, four. Four is gonna go up here, and four is already equal to what's given because when we say uh, union of uh, one and four, the find method is actually going to get called. So we say um, find find of one if find of one is going to be find of four then we return false. Right. This is the first time in our union method that we get into this conditional. This one recursively checks until it goes into four. And because we're returning false, the opposite, when we apply the bang, the opposite is going to be true. And if this is true, then we're just going to return whatever edge we're on. So we're going to return this one. So once again, to reiterate, we're going to combine the nodes and put them as part of the same connected component every time we encounter an edge. Now, for the first time, we encounter two nodes which already belong to the same connected component. 
that's when we return the one like that. So let me show you what it looks like here. For the first time, one and two get connected, two and three get connected, three and four get connected. One and four, when they con get connected, it's already part of the same uh, connected component, which is why we return this. Now let's take one and five, for example. Even if we remove this, this is still going to make this not a valid tree. Anyway, that's how you solve leak code 684. If you like the problem, please subscribe and like it. And let me know in the comments what other problems you'd like me to solve. Thanks for watching.